in the backstage. Hi, I welcome you to the global stage, unveiling the truth, bringing you God's perspective. In this episode, I'll be talking to you about preparing for marriage. And if you're already married, there is something you will benefit from this episode, which I presume you don't know. So stick with me to the end and you'll be glad you did. And I kindly ask that you give us a like, tap that like icon you see on screen, because you will get value out of this video. The more likes, the more this video reaches many people as possible. Thank you and God bless you. You know, it is said that marriage is the only school you get a certificate before you begin. Very true. And did you also know that the best student always prepares ahead of time, studies ahead of time before school opens? The student who prepares ahead of time, studies ahead of time, always has the advantage over other students who don't. He excels better and is able to handle pressure than the student who don't prepare ahead of time. The same is for marriage. The one who prepares adequately before marriage always has the advantage. They are not quick to quit when trouble strikes, especially at the beginning stage of the marriage. And it is better to prepare for war in the day of peace than in the day of the battle. For the one who prepares ahead of the war always comes out victorious, no matter the hostility. And this is why it is very important to prepare adequately before marriage so you go in with the right mindset, with the right knowledge, with the right understanding and when trouble strikes you are able to deal wisely because trouble will strike and in preparing for marriage there are three phases i want to give you phase one is to understand marriage and its fundamental truths and that is exactly what i've been giving you or sharing with you from episode one to the last episode i'll be sharing with you therefore you have to have accurate understanding of the meaning and the purpose of marriage the structure of marriage what it means to love your wife, what it means to submit to your husband, finding the right person, raising a godly home for God, and how to deal wisely with challenges and troubles in the marriage. Point 1 to point 2, we've already talked about them, so check them out if you have not watched them yet. Point 3 to point 7, I will be discussing with you in our subsequent episodes, so stick with me to the end of this series. In phase 2, is number one the mental maturity because marriage is for men and not boys because the ability to procreate is not a prerequisite for marriage even the mentally disabled people can have children so the fact that you've reached the age where you can father a child or get pregnant is not licenses for marriage because marriage is for men and not boys number two is of financial capability because you are going to raise a new family and you have responsibility towards your spouse, your child, or your children, and even your immediate and extended family. It definitely comes with a cost. Number three under phase two is your settlement, and this is very important. This involves your place of residence and how your work may affect it. Where do you plan to raise your family? Where do you plan to raise your home? Consider the right environment because it matters where you raise your family. Your environment has an effect on your family. Number four under phase two is your plans for your marital home, your immediate and long-term goal for the home or the, for the marriage. What do you want to see in the next one year? How do you want your family to be like in the next one year, in the next two years, in the next five years, in the next 10 years? You need to have a written plan down and a picture of that in your mind so you can monitor the progress. Let's take a short break. And don't forget to give us a like, comment, and share. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, kindly do. Thank you. Welcome back. We are discussing the concept of marriage. And this episode is about preparing for marriage. Let's look at the final phase. Phase 3, I think, is the second most important of the three phases. And under phase 3 is, number 1, knowing the man you want to marry or marry to. Who is he? Number 2 is, knowing the woman you want to marry or marry to who is she and this is where i want to stress important truth on one thing my pastor always tells us is this what you need is a word seminar and not a marriage seminar because a lot of these marriage seminars are just wasting your time most of these who organize marriage seminars tell you about their experiences in their marriage and tell you to copy or learn from them 
And that is a very big mistake. You see, learning from the experiences of others may help you a bit. You will gain some benefits, of course. But about 90% of the times, it fails and it doesn't last. The experiences you learn from others a lot of times don't and will not sustain your marriage for long. You may be happy for a while. Why am I saying this? Because those experiences may work for one and the same experiences learned will not work for the other. There are general knowledge or experiences that cast across for all men and for all women, but there are specifics. We are not all the same. The only word of advice, the only experience that is not a respecter of a person is the word of God. That is why you need a word seminar and not a marriage seminar. I want to read Romans chapter 2 verse 11 to you. It says, For there is no respecter of persons with God, and the word of God is God. God is revealed in his word. So there is no respecter of persons when it comes to God. So the word of God applies to everybody. What the word says, the experiences the word of God gives you will work and sustain your marriage no matter who your husband or wife is. If only it is applied accurately, of course. It applies to everybody and it works no matter who or where they are. So I would rather go for the word that applies to everyone than individual experiences. So personally, 100% experience from his word and an add-on of someone's experience that is consistent with my wife or who my wife is or who my husband is in the light of the word of God. Let me repeat that again. I said 100% experience from the word of God and an add-on of someone's experience that is consistent with who my wife is or who my husband is in the light of the word of God. Because there are things that are general when it comes to the character of a man. And there are things that are also general when it comes to the character of a woman. But there are specifics, certain specific attributes, features or characters unique about that man or that woman you want to marry or marry to. The specifics are the most important and you must pay extra attention to them if your marriage must work. These are the ones you really need to discover and know how to deal wisely with him or her. It can take weeks, it can take months or even years, but you need to know who is he or who she is. In Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12, it says, let me read that scripture to you. Concerning the word of God, it says, for the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joint and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intent of the heart. So it is all it is it is only the word of God that can go deeper into the thoughts and the intent of the heart of that of that person you are married to, or that person you want to marry. So you see, it is only the word of God and not the experience of that individual, except that experience is consistent and based on the word of God. And the only thing that will stand the test of time is the word of God. So go for the word of God like what I'm giving you rather than the experiences or worldly experiences. This is the end of this episode. And I certainly hope you were blessed and got value out of that. Kindly give us a like bring in your contributions under the comment section of this video and share this with all your loved ones watch out for our next episode titled finding the right person hey jesus christ is the same yesterday today and forever god bless you